Okay, so if all new SDKs haven't to be installed via the companion app in the upcoming year, it begs the question of how do you migrate your old projects to the new companion app? So here's how you're gonna be doing so. Luckily, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna come over to my projects where you can see all my poorly named projects. I'm then gonna come over to add to create a new project. Sorry, it's a little small, the scaling's a little weird with Windows, but I just wanna select the project that I wanna update and I wanna go select folder. Now, because it was a while since I last worked on this project, we can see that it's currently at the bottom of the list. The VHA companion app works much like Unity Hub, where it lists the different projects based on the last time the folder was modified. Anyways, I just wanna select my project and we would normally see open project, we see this new migrate button. I'm just gonna click that. Now, the VHA devs have made a big point about always backing up your project whenever you make a big change. And I 100% agree with them. No one likes to see hours worth of work go down the drain just because you went and did an update. It is Unity after all. So always make sure you have a backup of your projects. And even if it's not to do an update, if you're working on a big project, you wanna have like increments in case you make big changes and you don't like them and you don't know how to go back. Anyways, so with that in mind, we see two options here. We've got migrate a copy, which will create a copy of the project. And if you were to click this after it does its little thing for a while, you then could come into your project window and you'll see the two different projects, the old one at the bottom and the new one being at the top with a little dash migrate at the end of its name. It doesn't actually prompt you as to where you want it saved and it just installs it in the same folder that the old one was. However, with all that said, I've actually already created a backup, so I'm gonna click migrate in place as I have a backup. Now we just need to wait a little while while it installs this new stuff and deletes the other that's not needed. And now that we've done that, we can see our new things that have been installed, as well as we can come over here and click open project. Now, the first time you load up a project after migrating, it will take a little bit longer as it has to import some stuff. Now that that's all done, we can see that we're in our scene and that everything should work as expected. However, you may have noticed all the Udon Sharp errors and that's because my base Udon is kind of broken and I do have a hacky way of fixing it, but it's probably not wise to be sharing it. But anyways, that's all you need to do to migrate your project. If you want to learn more about the companion app, I highly recommend looking at Vogan's tutorial on it as he does a really good rundown of what it is and what it's about. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. But until next time, bye!